So today we will be doing a chapter six, number 21 from the textbook and it shows a cascaded op amp. So a cascaded op amp is going to be several op, op amps in stages. Here we have two stages. We have the first stage, which is an inverting op amp, and the second stage, which is a differential op amp. So for the inverting op amp, the V out equation is negative RF over R1 times VN. RF can be found here and R1 can be found here. And then this is V out. And in order to solve for this op amp, we must solve for the first stage first. So here we can start. So it gives us the variables. So it's negative 1.5 kilo ohms, which is 1500 ohms over 500 ohms times Vn, which is 1.5 volts. This comes out to negative 4.5 volts. Okay, so now that we have solved for the first stage of the op amp, we can simplify it. So now all that's left is the second stage. And then this now Vn is negative 4.5 volts. And then there is V1. And then all the other components that were in the second stage. all happen to be 5 kilo ohms. Okay, so now we have simplified this second op amp and it has a VN. So here I have redrawn the circuit and it shows a differential op amp. So the equation for a differential op amp is going to be the output on the positive, the input on the positive, minus the input on the negative. So here it would be V out equals V1 minus negative 4.5, which equals V1 plus 4.5. So, in the original problem, it gives us four problems. So it gives us A, zero volts, B, one volt, C, negative five volts, and D, two sine under T volts. So first, we're going to start with V1 equals zero volts. So V out equals zero plus 4.5 equals 4.5 volts. Next, it gives us 1 volt. So, then we can say V out equals 1 plus 4.5 equals 5.5 volts. And for C, it gives us negative 5 volts. So, V out equals negative 5 plus 4.5 equals negative 0.5 volts. This next problem then gets tricky. 
it gives us v1 equals 2 sine 100 t volts and you may look at that and get a little bit scared but it's really really not too bad because v out equals 2 sine 100 t plus 4.5 volts because this still has a variable in it you cannot add it to the 4.5 so when they give you a t then you can combine them but v out is 200 2 sine 100 t plus 4.5 volts I hope this helped, and that's it.